<laughs> that's very good. Well, that's the literal translation, at least. Yeah, but in a waltz, it's when two people start out dancing, then make a little sidestep and swirl about the room with other partners. Who are reuniting to finish the day. Do you like that? Yeah, I think I'm going to (laughs) cry. And how about you two? How'd you first get together? Uh, He saved my life. Are you sure about this? I mean, you just met me. Well, I have a good feeling about you. And besides, you're drop-dead gorgeous, which is always a plus at a cosmetics company. So, hey, why don't we uh, meet up back here after lunch and we'll talk details. Definitely. And listen, thanks. I mean, I really appreciate it. No problem. I'll see you soon. Oh, well, okay, I should be late more often. Frankie, it is all coming together. Fletcher called me, he's off my back, he's out of my life, I am a free woman. And you know what the best part is? I think I got a job, like a straight up legit job. That's great. Aren't you happy for me? Of course I'm happy for you. Well, you don't sound it. Well, I'm sorry. I, uh... You know, I got a lot going on. It's, it's been a long day. Sorry. Okay. Um, how how things go with your sister? Oh, well, it's cool. She's at home with my mom. You know, enough about that. Tell me about this job. Okay. So, it's a makeup company, and it's called Fusion. It's right upstairs, and I have you to thank, because you wanted to have lunch here, and here is where I met Amanda. And by the way, Amanda is great. And I don't know, it's a, it's a starter position, and I'm kind of nervous. If you don't do and I didn't tell them exactly what I tell you to do, um, Randy's going to be the one who pays for it. She might even just disappear. Hello? Frankie? Did you hear anything yeah, I said? Yeah, yeah, I did. It's, it's great. What's wrong with you, Frankie? What's up with you today? Hey, you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. I mean, flying while pregnant isn't the most fun thing in the world, but I can handle it. Listen, um... Kendall, I'm sorry. For what? For everything. I haven't really been myself lately. For months now. and I feel like the four of us, we had something good going there, and I feel responsible for the rift. Well, let's hope that this whole trip will help us put everything behind us. Yeah. I just feel guilty because I I feel like you have been there for me in the past and I haven't been able to reciprocate like I should have. I just kind of want it all back. I want it back the way it was. Do you think you could try? Yes, of course I can. We've known each other a while. But something happened when we started spending more time together. I suddenly realized you were crazy in love. (laughs) Not exactly. We kind of (laughs) couldn't stand each other. What changed? Me. I'd uh, made some bad decisions in my life, and Aiden helped me get past them. Oh, so that's when you fell in love. Yeah. I mean, after a while, that is. And then Greenlee fell into an abandoned bomb shelter and we all thought she was dead. And then it was my turn to start making mistakes. You two haven't exactly gone the conventional route, have you? No. And we haven't even gotten to the part where he nearly died on a secret rescue mission to Africa. Greenlee. You're kidding, right? (laughs) We couldn't make this up. (laughs) So why the heck haven't you two gotten married yet, huh? What are you waiting for, Armageddon? (laughs) 
You've been through so much. I don't even think I've stopped to really think about it all. Even the, the stuff with Richie alone. It's been like a never-ending bad dream. As soon as I think the worst is over, something else bad happens. Yeah, and then that, that car accident you had. Right. Yeah. I mean, enough is enough. I, I still don't understand exactly how that happened. Well, like I told Zach when I called him, I, I don't really remember what happened. So you fainted while you were driving? Isn't that a little weird, even if you're pregnant? Why are you asking me all these questions? I'm standing here genuinely trying to regain your friendship, and you're grilling me like some kind of suspect. Wait, Annie, I swear I'm not Annie? doing that. What's going on? Nothing, Ryan. We were just talking about how we have to put the bad stuff behind us, try to look ahead to the future. Hope you feel better. We have a fun trip planned. Was she upsetting you? No. No, I'm okay. Really. Don't ask. Want to play a card game? What do you want to play? It's a little something my mother taught me. It's called spite and malice. I will tell you the rules in a minute. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait, wait, that's we have 18 there. Odds are huge. You're gonna bust if you do that. I think he's got a 10 under that jack, so I'm going for it. Hit me, man. There's no risk, no joy. Look, come on, I'm buying the next round. Something without alcohol. I don't want to stagger down the aisle. No, no, no. We're not gonna let you buy on your wedding day. Thank you. No discussion. I'm the big winner here. I've learned that it's useless to argue with the woman and only gets her arm ran for long the inevitable. However, mm, the well-toned fellow with the funny accent and the cute butt can help me at the ball. So you got some competition here. Yeah. Oh, oh, help me. Oh, I got help, it. I got me. It. help me. Help <laughs> me. Mind telling me what happened to you two 40 years ago? Why you didn't get married then? Short story. We were young and stupid. And I had this warped idea that marriage was like an undeclared war between a man and a woman. <laughs> the only war where you sleep with the enemy. And my first wife sure as hell proved that to me. <laughs> well, Babs is different. <laughs> Babs is still Babs. With her, it's always been no risk, no joy. <laughs> I was the one that grew up. I learned to appreciate what I've got. Instead of always being afraid I was settling for something less than perfection. Hell, anybody who can put up with me is perfection. Thank you. Thank you. Uh -huh. So, tell me, what are you afraid of, Aiden? To me? Nothing. Mm. To be honest. Yeah. So, why don't you sweep the girl off her feet and marry her? I did, Babs. I we got engaged and then um, something happened. It's complicated. No, it's not. You either love each other or you don't. And if you make things too complicated, you'll find yourself 40 years on, huh? Kicking yourself in that butt for what you knew you should do. What's up? You're obviously angry. No, I'm not. Bull, I know when a man's angry. Look, I'm not angry. I'm sorry. <sighs> Gotta shake it off. I'm happy for you. This is only just the beginning, though. I mean, now that you're free from Fletcher, a whole door of opportunities are gonna start opening for you left and right. And people are gonna start to see your potential. That same potential I saw when we first met, which is why... I don't think you should jump at this job off. What? What are you saying right now? I'm saying that I think even bigger and better things are in store to happen for you. And I want you to win big. I do, but I don't think that's going to happen here in Pine Valley. It's not. I'll tell you what, let me give you some money. Go to L.A. or Miami. Go to L.A. or Miami. That's the spot where you can get a big start. That's the spot where you can get a fresh start. 